Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Listen, so according to the poll that I put up a few days ago in regards to what meal you guys wanted me to make first is one of my favorite prison meals while I was gone. And it was the sausage and cheese potato log, right? So y'all may be wondering a little bit about what that is. And sorry about the angle. My hair probably gonna be cut off a little bit. My kitchen is a little weird and it's ring light, whatever. Anyway, so ingredients that you would need. Now, mind you, I wouldn't go around just eating this every day, y'all, because you might get a little fupa. This ain't really the healthiest, but this is what we had. Because let me tell y'all, prison food is nasty, okay? Most of the time. So what you need is... A bag of sour cream and onion chips. We used to have like shebangs and stuff like that. We use that. We got a beef summer sausage, okay? And then I'm gonna let y'all in on a little, uh, cause I had to do some, I wanna do this and create this as if, you know, I was in there kind of what we had to deal with, right? So I had to put in a contraband order because I want to add cheese, I want to add broccoli, and I want to add onion to my potato log. Don't mind the kids, y'all. Skylar, I told y'all I was recording. Please stop. And I'm not editing that out. So, first you want to crunch these up, which I already did, so it wouldn't take long. And then we had, we did have Saison. This is, listen, the go-to. You have to have the Saison. And adobo. So, once you get the chips crunched up fairly small, you want to add the, uh, oh, no, this is not adobo. The Saison seasoning in here. The whole pack. Okay, um, you can put a little bit of double in here too. Cause it's kind of already salty, so y'all, you don't want to overdo it. Okay, it's a little sprinkle. You don't sprinkle. You don't add too much. Shake that. So in some facilities, they did have microwaves, and some they only had the hot water spigot, like we can make your coffee. So you know that thing is super hot, right? So actually, my water is hot enough. Some water. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour the hot, hot water inside of the bag. Now, hopefully you didn't make holes in this bag when you was crunching up your chips. So kind of do a little bit at a time. Switch it around. I'm excited because I'm gonna tell you this. Eh. Yeah, it's like one of my favorites. Sky, please stop screaming, babe. I told you I was recording. Sheesh, a little bit more water because you don't want it too wet. But I'm gonna show y'all the consistency. And if you do get it too wet, like that might've been a little bit too extra, but if you do get it too wet, you can kind of let it sit for a second or you can add more chips. Let's see. Mash it around. I know y'all about to be like, what in the world? It's okay. Cause, see that? I'm telling you, it's good. So. Mush it around, mush it around, mush it around, mush it around. All right, we're getting somewhere, getting somewhere. That's kind of what that's looking like. There, now I need to get my things on more incorporated, y'all. And I don't really think that I have any more because it's all in one spot. Mush it up around. Y'all just excuse Skylar making all this noise in the background like I haven't told her a thousand times that I was getting ready to record a video because honestly and truly, it's raw and real. She's here. It is what it is. I ain't even ready to be doing all that extra editing and stuff. Okay, that looks good right there. I thought it was too much water, but that's what it looks like because what you want to do is flatten this out. Not make it too thick so we kind of just Flatten it a little bit because we're going to um, put our ingredients on the inside of it, okay? So, and I got her some biscuits in here. Let me check them. Okay. I don't know why that smell like it's burning. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm just going to do a, a, a short one because it's just me. So, most of the time, we would kind of get together with our friends. Um your bunky or whoever and make them because you really wouldn't eat this whole thing by yourself 
You know we have a refrigerator, y'all. So ice. Sometimes the ice machines work, sometimes they didn't. Okay, so let's put this to the side. Now, we didn't have no cutting boards or nothing, so I'm listen. You had your Tupperware like this, hard Tupperware, which we had to cook with in the microwave. So I am going to act as if we did have a um, a microwave at this facility because we would take the sausage, the summer sausage, and no, we didn't have no real knives. We would cut it up like so into little, um, you know, cubes or kind of however you want it inside of the potato log. Hold on, y'all. Oh, she loves biscuits, y'all. All right, so I'm cutting, cutting, cutting. Now, I have placed me a contraband order. Is that what we're gonna call? That's what we're gonna say. What a shoot, that's what we did. Now, contraband is something that you are not supposed to have, and it is something that you can definitely get a write-up for or even go to the shoe for it. And the shoe is a freaking prison inside of a prison. You do not want to go there. I hate the shoe. Yes, I did visit a couple times. We'll talk about that. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more sausage, even though I am making a a small one. Let me see. Can I get through this? Um, see, sometimes I'm telling you, these little plastic knives that we had, we had to make do. A little bit. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we made it through this, y'all. I'm telling you, it's rough. But so most of the time, too, the sausages were not this big, and we you would use the whole one. Take that part off. And then continue to cut up. Oopsie. The sausage, how you want it. So I would say that a... I know I used to pay... It depends on how much vegetables you get or you know cheese and stuff like that because that was not on the commissary so you had to get somebody who was working in the kitchen which i did work in the um the om which is where the officers eat for a while because you know your girl can cook a little bit so i got a job working in the om with the staff and i had you know access to a lot of stuff and i was able to cook uh, pretty much what i wanted to for the staff that's when i had gained a little weight when i was honey i was in there eating okay um so you would go to somebody who worked in the kitchen and you would tell them, you know, shoot, I need a little bit of broccoli or you might have to wait to a day that they're going to cook that's on the menu. I don't ever remember broccoli being on the menu, but we did have it. So I would say, you know, I want to do, I need a small order of broccoli. I need a green pepper. I need some onion. I need cheese or whatever. And most of the time you get you a little pack, might cost you five or $10. Yes, we think inflation now is bad, boy. it. The inside inflation is horrible. You're going to pay for that. So, and that's only because it's a risk. You know, you can really risk yourself getting in trouble um, trying to steal. <laughs> that's ultimately what you're doing out of the kitchen. So, what we do is take this, put it in your bowl, and then you can cook the meat around for a little bit in the microwave. Now, you gotta watch it. Because you don't want you don't want your Tupperware or anything like that to burn. And then that's gonna have grease on it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel, mix it around a little bit. Let me get me a um one of these kind of forks. Not a real one, but a plastic one. Plastic fork. Let's see. I don't want this popping all around. Oh, it smells so good. Now, I have ordered my contraband and I have to go and pick it up from the kitchen or the person who is working in the kitchen will bring it out. Now, in order to get it from them, they have they come to the table, they might talk to you, they might put it somewhere, you gotta put it up. Now, the key is if you go and pick it up, you have to get it out the kitchen and a lot of the times the officers are standing outside of the door and we got to do all of this and they got to check us when we're coming out right they do this so you put your arms out you stand like this 
They go underneath, they'll go between your breasts, up underneath, around your waist, and in between your legs, down into your shoes. All of that just to come out the kitchen, right? Okay, I know, I know. So, I put my order in, and now I went to the kitchen, and I picked up my stuff. So, where do you put it, you might ask, right? Now, you may think that it's easy to kind of like, you know, tuck it in here, tuck it in here, but if they're checking you and you're like this, underneath your arms and between your breasts, that's not a good spot. Now, sometimes people would risk it all and they would do it. It just depends on what time you ate child and who was out there standing, standing out there waiting um, at the doors. And of course, sometimes it was just a no, right? So most of the time, how we carry contraband, when we are locked up, is the good old shit, right? So we got a little block of cheese. Hold on. And we got some broccoli and some onion. That's where it's at. That's where you got to carry it, okay? It's real, real around here. So for me, I like, we would take, get your little contraband out. Now, you got to hurry up and do this part in your room because you can't be having this stuff out because it smells. And the officers are going to know, like, hold on, it smells like, um, it smells like heaven up in here. What y'all got not supposed to have it? What's going on? So I'm going to add this, some little broccoli in here, looking around. Have somebody watching your room. Make sure the po-po not coming. Put your broccoli in here. I love broccoli in my potato balls, y'all, because I'm telling you, it just sets it off to a whole different level. It makes it taste really, really good. So, yes, I was the one who sometimes would risk it all trying to get me a little piece of broccoli or get me a little piece of onion. Don't judge me. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now, I really don't want too many stalks in here because what I do is just kind of pick off the broccoli top, put it in there, and then I'm going to cut up this piece of onion. So you can tell them too. So a little piece of onion would be something that, you know, and honey, we would pay about $5. We get a little thing of cheese, find something to put it in, wrap it up, get you a little thing of broccoli, find something to put it in, wrap it up so that you can... Have you a, I'm getting, I'm making a mess y'all. So that you can have you a good little meal for tonight. Now we could do like something like white rice or fried noodles or um, sweet noodles or something like that to go with it if you wanted to. I love onion y'all so I'm gonna add some of that. And honestly, this really doesn't require a lot of seasoning because it's salty. The meat has, you know, seasoning. The chips are seasoned. Those, you know, sour cream and onion, that's seasoned. The stuff that you put in it, the cheese. So you don't really need much. Put that in there like so, because I might flash this in the microwave for like another 30 seconds or so. We used to be struggling with these knives, y'all. Little knives they used to give us because we had stuff that on the commissary that we could buy your silverware, your bowls, and things like that. Now, if you had if you did not have a microwave, I'm going to show you that how we did it as well. But I'm going to heat it up in the microwave because that's just quicker for the sake of the video. But I am going to illustrate and show you kind of what it would look how you would have to do it if you didn't have one. Because it wasn't, listen, we was, it was a blessing to get in a facility that, ha that had microwaves, y'all. We used to put in grievances. We'd be asking the captains, lieutenants, warden, can we get a microwave, please? But there's a downside to that because they would fight over the microwaves, you know. Shoot, they would break them. We couldn't keep nothing, y'all. We really couldn't. And then uh, when they open those doors, we go into our cell, they open those doors. After four o'clock count, you should see them people trying to kill each other, trying to get to the microwave. It's ridiculous. Or some people would put their food inside of the microwave before we got locked down, and you was first, hands down. You was first. So, I'm gonna take the bag like this, and make sure y'all can see this. We're gonna open it. One second. We're gonna open it all the way to the bottom. So when it opens up, like that and this is what you get flat potato get my little stolen cheese from the kitchen 
I'm gonna put my ingredients down first. Now, what I probably would end up doing, yeah, I'm gonna do it here first. So put your stuff in here like so. Y'all just don't have no idea. If y'all could smell this, I, I promise you, you will want it. You could smell it. It's good. Get you some cheese. You got your coop milk. Okay. You got to do what you got to do, baby. And the inside. And remember, you got to do this quick. Now you in your room, you got to prep and put your stuff together fast. Because you know the seals be doing their walk arounds. And they be looking in the rooms and stuff like that. I'm making a mess. Y'all don't mind it. So then you're going to take one side. And you're gonna fold it over like that. So you end up with something like this. Then you're gonna take the other side and you're gonna fold it together like that. And then I'll probably take my fork and like push it back a little bit so that I can have room to kind of mold it together. You end up with a roll that kind of looks like this. That's why we call it a potato log, potato chips into a log. So I'm gonna continue to kind of mold it together really nicely so that it doesn't open up. Now, what we had to do is we had to use trash bags, okay? So you get you a trash bag from the officer. You would take the line off the top and then we would cut probably a side or something too because I need it to be long because I gotta roll it if I'm gonna put this inside of a we had jugs and things too that came from other facilities if the facility that she was in didn't have it you could do that so you got your trash bag it's like this put it down because you need all this Especially if you have to use something like this. I'm going to show y'all. This means a lot to me, okay? This one of my fed sisters made this for my daughter. And I sent that home to her, Tierra Spongebob. And it's so old, y'all. It's, it's just now starting to peel. When I say talent in there, I'm talking about talent. Hand painted. And, of course, I'm going to keep it. But this is something that you could use. And you would put the water in here and put it inside. I'm going to show you. So, and this is kind of long, so if you did it, if you had that, you didn't have a microwave, you wouldn't make it that long because you knew that you didn't have anything to for real put it in. So I'm gonna slide this onto the trash bag, like so. Get rid of that, and then what we're going to do is I need to have room on the sides of it. We're going to roll it inside of the trash bag, right? Roll. Several times, as many times as you can. Roll, 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 roll. Make sure your stuff don't fall out. And then you've got something like this. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Might as well be ready. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry. Now. We're going to roll the ends of this. You wanna make sure you roll it good because if you're putting this inside of water, you do not want the water to get inside of your food. So you tie it on the ends like that. Tie, 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 tie. And now, if you weren't fortunate enough to be in a facility that did have the microwave, you may have to do this for several rounds, maybe two or three times, depending on the hot water. So then you take your jug and you put your tail log in the jug and then you fill it with boiling hot water and close it, make sure the top is closed and you let it sit and voila. So it's sitting in here getting hot because the hot water like I said you may have to pour off the hot water and redo it again just so the whole entire thing on the inside can the cheese can melt and everything like that but we about to get into it so I'm gonna heat it up and I'll be back okay y'all here is the finished product oh my gosh it's so delicious 
Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, okay, mm, mm. y'all, I really be struggling recording these videos. Okay, let's 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 try it. So, I need some cheese, got some broccoli, cause that's my favorite part, of course. Let's try it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Listen, y'all gotta try this. I want you to make it. Comment down below and let me know what you think. <laughs> Hi guys, so today I am eating this yummy, delicious meal. It's so good. I think you only like the chip part. Why don't you try it inside? I love it so much. It's beef. I like beef too. You do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys. You should make this at home. It's real good. <laughs> Say bye. Bye-bye. We got to eat, eat. We got to eat. Yummy. Stay tuned, guys.